happy to, to win the game here. Uh, I thought Nisha played a really good game. They, they played and slowed down the tempo like they wanted to. But they defended well early in the game, especially uh, offensively. They were making shots from everywhere. I guess they really worked on those last five seconds of the shot clock, making three pointers from deep. And uh, when a team does that, honestly, when they start making them, they start bouncing in. You're sitting there wondering if there's any way you're going to escape with a win on those kind of nights when everything looks like it's going against you. I was really proud of our guys' defense over the last 11 minutes. I think they only scored two field goals on us during that period of time. And I think that's something we've been working on. So I think I was, as a team, I thought we were very happy about that. But Momo got into the lane and made plays happen for us during that period of time on the offensive end as well. And our whole team defense really made a difference. Hey, qu any questions for Momo so we can get him out of here? Momo, speak about that last 10 minutes. You had eight points to assist with. Can you put your finger on it? Was there anything different in those last 10 minutes? Coach Green damage. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell them that. Um, uh, I mean, I, I, I've been settling, settling a lot uh, over the last couple of games, and uh, I think Coach Sorry, and I think he did a great job of telling me to go to my strength, which is, you know, penetrating, getting people the ball, scoring inside the lane. And I think my team did a great job in having confidence in me to, you know, allow me to do that at the time that I did it. And I think, you know, my teammates came through just as much as I did. Uh, we just came together collectively and uh, just pulled this one up. Anything else for Mama? Coach, it seemed like he was just really worked hard to take Scott and Michael out of the game as much as possible. Um, yeah. At the same time, though, you had like, your mouth stepping up, Momo stepping up. Talk about how, I guess, how important it is to have those, I guess, complementary pieces. I mean, oh, we would have it's had huge. Yeah. It's huge, and that's the reason why you don't worry so much about a team trying to take one or two guys away, because I mean, we know we probably have seven or eight guys who can score and give it nice, and we really had a poor short shooting night as a team outside of it. I think Jenkins was the only one who was respectable. Um, so to come in here and have those backup guys and even Taj play the way he did, uh, is really important for us because if people want to just take Scott and Glove out, we can still win through other players. And Scott and Glove are, are not going to have those type of games very often, thankfully. Right. But credit to Canisius for the way they played the game. Can you talk about the, the, the last 11 minutes? Yeah, it was a little 8-0 run that, that gave, finally gave you that, that separation. What were you able to, to finally do? You know, was, like, we had opportunities like that early in the game when it looked like we were going to have a chance to break stuff open. And every time we would hit the ball, the bounce just wouldn't go our way. I mean, you know, the one play of the horn goes off and you guys lose the ball out of bounds and they give it back to them, you know, which shouldn't have happened, but it does happen. Another play. Early on in the second half, we have a four-point lead, and there's a loose ball, right? We have two guys who really had it in their hands, and one guy was taken off for a layup, and we fumble the ball, and Canisius comes back up with it. So we had probably five or six of those opportunities, including those late threes, that every time we had a chance to set for separation, Canisius, credit to them, made a play to keep the game close. Then I just think our defensive intensity probably wore them down a little. Probably not having Gabby hurt them because they weren't able to go to the bench and get some rest for their guards. And it's hard, you know, playing 40 minutes at that at this level. And, and, and we probably got a little bit of a break there, to be honest with you. You mentioned earlier, you know, Canisius with, with the tempo. And it seemed like, for, especially in the, in the first half, uh, you know, they were able to, to dictate that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well, you know what? They have the guards that can dictate that tempo. Uh -huh. And part of it is, like, people, just because we scored a lot of points early, everyone's assuming that we're trying to score 100 points a game. Mm -hmm. Now, against the teams we played, they wanted to run with us, so we ran. The team that doesn't want to run, we'll play half court with you and, and grind it out. And honestly, it helped our defensive average today. <laughs> I think we're down from about 99 down to a little more respectable number now. Um, but I think our team can play either way. And I think this is more like what the league is going to be like. The teams know each other really well, and they've been playing against the same players for years. And it's that competitiveness between each team that you don't always see when you're playing non-league opponents. So, you know, it's a good lesson for our guys that, guess what? It's going to be like this every single time we step on the court. And for your guys, it's going to be the same thing. And that's what makes the league so special. Coach Parada said he made some pretty big, I guess, defensive changes in the last week. Was there anything you saw from Canisius' defense that seemed different than what you prepared for? Yeah, you know what? We prepared for their 2-3. We prepared for their 1-3-1. One, one. I know they've played some man in the past. We got shots. Yeah. And we missed shots, but we got shots. So. We had 28 threes and a lot of them but were wide open ones by some good shooters and it just didn't go down. And we're a guard oriented team like them. So just imagine if you guys didn't shoot well, you know, that would have been a 30 point game quick, but you were eight for 11 at one point on threes. And some of like four of them were prayers. 
Okay, so it could have easily gone into us. So I'm up, you know, they did a good job. They, what I thought they were really doing is just being, you know, really cognizant, like you said, of Scott and Glove and everywhere they went. They did a good job with that. So that, that's probably the changes they made to kind of keep them in this game. And it worked. I mean, it worked. They did a great job. It was a competitive game. Anything else? Thank you all very much. Have a good night.